Uh, other than EMF, uh, you need to know the in, what does it mean by internal resistance. Now, this is simple. Okay, internal resistance is the resistance inside the source. Internal resistance of a source. Uh, the source can be a cell or the generators or dynamo. Uh, is the resistance against the moving charge inside the source. Uh, inside the source. For example, so let's say we have a circuit. Uh, there's a cell here. The resistance inside the cell. Okay, is called internal resistance. Uh, okay. Uh, here you can see that I draw a resistor inside the cell. Okay, actually there's no resistor inside the cell. Okay, they are all uh, chemical, eh? electrodes and chemical only. Eh? There's no resistor. Okay, uh, this one just want to show you there is a resistance. It, it's not like so the the manufacturers uh, put a resistor inside the cell. No, there's no resistor inside the cell. Eh? Okay, just want to tell you that uh, internal resistance is the resistance inside. The source. The source can be a cell or generators or dynamo. Okay, so that is internal resistance. Load resistance. And load resistance is the effective resistance uh, against the moving charge outside the source. Okay, let's see the same pictures again. Uh. Inside the source is internal resistance. Outside the source uh, is uh, it's called the load resistance. It's the effective resistance. Let's say if we have uh, Four, uh, three, three resistor, okay, three resistor, uh, one ohm, two ohm, and three ohm, okay. So the load resistance, load resistance is the resistance for all the resistor, okay. One plus two plus three, six ohm. Huh? So the load resistance is six ohm, okay. So load resistance is the effective resistance outside the source of electricity, okay. That's load resistance.